Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can push your Flutter app project from Visual Studio Code to GitHub. So I'm going to make this video very point to point. So let's get to my Visual Studio and let me open my terminal and open a uh, Visual Studio Code. So till the time it is opening, let me go and create a new repository. So click this plus icon, click on new repository give your repository a name so i'm going to give let's say flutter sample right so no such repository exists so it is available you can give a description if you want but it is optional i'm going to make this repository private so so that only i can see this repository no one else but if you want to make it public if you are working for open source then you can make your repository public right and yes if you are making it private you can always add other members to this repository and they will be able to contribute and see this right and let everything be as it is and click on create repository. So a repository is being created. Now you don't need to do anything. Just copy this URL. You can see just copy this URL and let's go to our visual studio, right? So I'm going to make it full screen and let's create a new flutter project. So let's create in the desktop and let's call it sample. So now flutter project is being created. So till the time it is being created, let's see over here. So you can see this source control icon or this tab is there. So this is by default there in Visual Studio. So that's why I'm using VS Code because it makes some things very, very easier, right? So it makes life easier. And now I'm going to click on this and you can see that the folder currently open does not have a GitHub repository connected, right? So now I'm going to click on this initial repository button, initialize repository button. And you can see that all the changes are there. Now, how I am able to see all these changes because currently nothing is uploaded on the GitHub. That's why whatever was created just now is a change, right? But now let me just show you first how to push your first commit. And then I'm going to show you how you can make changes and then you can push your changes, right? Now you can see this commits, right? So no commits could be found because I have not yet committed the code. So there are two things. One, you, when you are committing the code, and when you are pushing the code. So committing means you are making things ready to push and pushing means you are uploading your code to the GitHub. So these things should be clear, right? Now branches, there is only one branch and you can see remotes, there is no remotes. So first of all, I need to add a remote, right? So just click on this plus icon and you need to give one remote name, right? So let's say I'm giving my name. So this is my name. And now you need to give remote repository URL, right? Now paste that URL that we have copied from the GitHub when you created a new repository. Just press enter and you can see that one remote is added. So remote is having my remote name and you can see that akmadan slash flutter sample, which is nothing but my repository uh, like ID, right? akmadan slash flutter sample is my ID, right? So everything is all set. Now what I can do is I can write a message so let's say uh created a new flutter project so this is my message now what you need to do is if you are on windows then control plus enter and if you are on mac then hit command plus enter perfect so you can see that commits are added over here so my code is now ready my commit is ready to get pushed on github right so there are two steps one you need to commit the code one you need to commit the change and second you need to push that change so now i'm all set to push it so here you can see on the right hand side of master there is one upload icon when you are uploading it for the first time then you are going to see this icon right so it is going to publish your branch you can see this button over here also but if you are using previous version of vs code then you will see one icon over here of cloud with the arrow icon just click on it so you can see it is pushing my branch it is publishing my branch now come over here and refresh your GitHub window. You can see my code is pushed. So this is the beauty, right? Now I'm going to show you how you can make a change and then you can commit and push that change, right? So now let me go in my uh, code and you can see that everything, every folder name is in white. But as soon as I'm going to make a change, let's say this is a new readme line and hit command S or control S you are going to see that it has become yellow. Why? Because I have made a change and that change is not yet committed, right? I have not yet made that change ready to get published on the GitHub. So what I'm going to do is, you can see this is only yellow because I have made change only in this file. 
now you can see one change is there right so just go over here and write a message now you don't need to add a remote or anything just need to add a message so that message is read me changed right and hit command plus enter again you can see sync changes and here you can see that one commit is ready to get published so hit on it click on it and you will see this change will be published right now come over here and refresh and see your readme readme changed commit is there and you can see over here two commits so till now i have made two pushes to my github to my remote repository now as you uh, like saw that how i added one remote like this you can add multiple remotes let's say you want to publish this code on another repository also that also you can do by adding another remote now this is one way of adding remote second way is you can see this icons the three menu icon just click on it and not this one the source control right so just click on it and you can see pull push come over here and you can see push to so when you are going to click on push to you can again add a remote you can see add a new remote and then you can create another repository and add that url and you will you will be able to choose to where you want to push your change right so this was the beauty and this was how you publish your and you can see that this has now again become white because there is no change that is not yet committed and pushed to the github right so i hope that you like this video i hope this will be useful to you till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot